Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury today. Uh, just a quick one and we are taking a look at what used to be one of my favourite pastimes and that's blowing the hell out of the KSC. Uh, you can see me here in the background with uh, my A10 Warthog trying to see what damage I can do, but it, it's not a lot. I used to do this a lot to test like tanks and uh, ground attack vehicles and weapons, but since KSP version 1.8, the KSC buildings have been made a lot, lot tougher. Uh, a couple of passes with the Gow 8 and my A10 used to be able to finish off most buildings here, but now, yeah, pretty much nothing. Uh, I do manage to destroy one of the radar dishes with uh, two Mavericks and six Hellfires, and I try to get another one with bombs, but it just doesn't work. Yeah, I mean, these are some of the weakest buildings uh, in the KSC, and it's taking a lot to get them down. So, today I thought I would take a look at what exactly it takes to bring some of these buildings down. To start with then, we are just here hovering above the KSC in my little Hawk Moth attack helicopter. Now, I've adjusted this thing slightly, I've stuck uh, four of the hydropods on here. Now, the hydropods are interesting, they are affected by the infinite ammo thing, so you can just keep firing and firing and firing, and I don't think they can overheat which means you should be able to put out an extraordinary amount of damage per second. So that is what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to see how long it takes me to, um, how long it takes me to down the VAB, if I can manage it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. Let's, uh, let's get cracking. I think that's probably enough. I <laughs> I don't think we're getting this thing down anytime soon. <laughs> let's try uh, let's try something else and maybe try a different target. Um so I've gone and created this. <laughs> I am in equal measure proud and ashamed of myself. It's just my uh, my basic medium tank chassis with some girders attached to it, a motor for aiming, and then 16 gow weights. And this thing is just... yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh god, what are we doing? Um, but yes, this I hope will actually manage to take down... let's turn that up... take down at least something in the KSC. I was thinking this little fuel tank here, because this traditionally has been one of the things that's quite easy to destroy, or at least it was, um, oh god, this thing, yeah, because of where I put the, uh, because of where I actually positioned the, uh, the drone call, this thing doesn't quite respond as usual to the, um, to the various keys. Uh, let's, let's see how that lines up. Uh, let's turn the brakes off. Let's, Turn those off, shall we? And get that vaguely lined up. Yeah, turn the brakes on. Let's uh, see if we can aim this using the... Uh, we're going to want you a little further up. No, that's the wrong way. Minus one, minus two. Does that do it? Damn it. Minus four. Okay, that seems to do the trick. Now, will this fall to us? How much gunfire do we have to put into this thing? Just like a single pass this usually takes. A single pass with the GAW-8 it used to take before version 1.8, and now... Eight of them, and nothing. Oh, for God's sake. I've got this thing, the Destructinator, um, which is a refer... Oh, I've forgotten what that's, a that, well, that's a reference to. Oh. oh. It's always good to do your research, isn't it, Smith? Oh, for God's sake, come on. No, we we may have to break out the mods here. I'm going to get out my old Hawk Bomber for this one. It's not really a craft that's featured on the channel because there's not really been a use for it, but I need it for the uh, the Mark II cargo bay, 
which is the only thing I have big enough to store the FAB 5000, a, uh, a 5000 kilogram Russian made bomb. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what this can do. So I think for this run we're going to try and go for the tracking station there. Let's arm the trigger, let's open up the cargo bay, let's take a quick look at this enormous thing. Uh, now I think I'm pretty much decently on target, just a little bit of a tweak. Maybe a little bit more. And bombs away. I think it's just going to clip it slightly to the right, but that should be okay. Now, what can a 5,000 kilogram bomb, about a, yeah, 11,000 pounds? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, we are... We're going to have to break out the big guns here. Switching to a different craft once again, and we are using my Serpent GR2 fighter bomber. And this time, we're going nuclear. I have a couple of uh, couple of weapons on this. We have the Air 2 Genie Air to Air rocket, a uh, a tactical nuclear weapon used to uh, to clear out. Well, supposedly was going to be used to clear out bomber formations, but thankfully was never used in that capacity. This is the one from the Kerbal Field mod, I believe. Um, yes, and we also have the B83 nuclear bomb from the uh, North Kerbin Dynamics Renewed mod. Uh, the FAB 5000 bomb I just used was also from the Kerbal Field mod. Uh, there is also an Air 2 Genie Air to Air rocket um, in the North Kerbin Dynamics mod, but this one I think actually does utilize some of the new um, specific nuclear mechanics built into BD Armoury, so I wanted to give that a look. Now we're attacking ground targets, this is an air-to-air -air missile, so I'm just going to use it as a dumbfire rocket, albeit a dumbfire nuclear rocket, and we'll also take a look at the bomb as well. But first, let's uh, let's see what these uh, let's see what these missiles can do. So nothing too crazy or spectacular here, we're just going to select the missile, as I said we're going to kind of use it as a dumbfire rocket. I'm going to see if I can hit the, uh, the actual VAB. Let's just bring you around a bit. Let's arm the trigger. Bit higher up, bit higher up, bit higher up. Ep, 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 come on. That should do. And then I think we need to break off pretty quickly. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was quite effective. I noticed the uh, noticed the R and D center didn't really get much uh, much punishment though. So let's uh, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can do something about that. Up a bit. Oh, tiny little mushroom cloud. Eh, 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 eh. Up a bit. Up a bit. Up a bit. Oh, I'm going too slowly. <laughs> the craft's not liking it because I'm going too slow. Oh, I'm getting very close here. Quickly, quickly, get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh. Oh, I do still have control of the aircraft, and that did do quite a lot of damage. Oh my god. Yeah. That did quite a lot of damage. <laughs> the aircraft's relatively unscathed, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go see what the bomb does. Okay, so once again, nothing too complicated. Just bring up the targeting reticule. We're going to need to bring ourselves around a bit. We've given, we've given ourselves a bit more altitude this time. <laughs> We don't want to be caught in the blast wave of this one. That last one was something like a few kilotons. This one is supposed to be like 1.2 megatons. Let's see if we can drop it right on top of the uh, right on top of the VAB and make our escape. Turn up the engines. Yeah, I don't know what effects this will have because, like I said, the um, the previous one did take advantage of some of the BDM. Oh my god. Okay, that's a little bit bigger. Yep. Ha. Huh. And the blast wave catches the serpent. Here's the thing, we've got to wait for the smoke to clear and see what state the KS... It's it's completely unscathed. It, 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 is, it is completely unscathed. I mean, quite a distance to it from here, but nothing, nothing's been damaged. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I don't know if this bomb, something to do with the way this bomb works, or maybe it's more for actual, um, 
uh, ground craft, targets, tanks, planes, that sort of thing. But you'd have thought there'd have been a scratch on this. Huh. So yes, the KSC, surprisingly resilient even to a 1.2 megaton nuclear blast, although not a couple of nuclear air-to-air -air missiles, it appears. Um, but that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, maybe getting involved with the Discord Great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. Uh, links to all of those in the Discord, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. Um, did I say links to that in the Discord? Links to that in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon, if you would like to help support the channel. Uh, you too can get yourself your own little patron kerbal, like what was blown up just seconds ago. Uh, I will be back soon with some more BD Armory, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.